Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So, <clears throat> we got, um, we had that battle right at the end of the day, uh, last episode. Um, I'm giving everyone a day to basically rest up, and then we'll get everyone back to work, um, on day, day five. Uh, reason being is it, staying up all night and stuff like that really has a toll on the, uh, settlers and stuff, so... Um, the items out here aren't going anywhere. We're probably going to be scrapping most of the stuff. There's just a couple items that looks like it could be of use. Mainly the, um, plated armor. But, um, everything else is, uh, so-so. Uh, it's okay for quality. I looked it over. Um, <laughs> there's gardeners outside right now, so I'm just like, I was just waiting for a period where it was to be a little bit quieter. But, um... Yeah, like, some of the weapons and stuff are pretty pretty poor, like, flimsy and stuff like that. The bows are pretty good, but, um, hit points on some of them might be a little bit low. Uh, actually, they're not too bad. They might be lower by the time tomorrow comes around, though, so. Um, we need somebody to come over here and open the, or remove that and fix the door and stuff, but... Outside of that, uh, we've been slowly building up this particular part, um for the building and we're going to be putting a couple people in here um if we scroll down we have a top floor which is a lot bigger than these little cabins that we have so we might even move a couple of the people that we already have on these move them over to uh one of these and move their beds and stuff like that or keep the beds and just move some of the items i'm not sure what i'm going to be doing with it just yet but um, as far as the market, I have been thinking about that, and I think what would be best is just to expand this area, and we'll basically take out the chicken coop, we'll bring it somewhere over here, and build a upper loft part so we can store the hay, or whatever it's called, yeah, hay pile, and we've been doing that with pretty much our other barns for the most part. This one has to be climbed up through a ladder, but I think if we design it well, we can probably get away with moving the chicken pen. And they they eat hay just fine, so um, pretty much the only animal that does. So. <laughs> and that will give us a lot more market space as well, so I think that'll be good. Okay, somebody's coming to um, remove that, so that's good. Thank you. Are you going to fix that door too? Yes, you are awesome.
right, so I'm just about to host an event for a merchant that came. Um, not entirely sure how it's going to go over. It says the estimated quality is going to be enjoyable. Um, I've added um, berries uh, just enough. If I go any higher, then it actually subtracts the uh, quality of the event, so I'm not doing that. Uh, I did add some lavish meals and some roasted meat uh, that should help with the thing we really need to start producing some other kinds of um foods like i know that they're cooking up meat and stuff like that but it would be pretty good to have maybe some specific types of things being cooked first and then we have a little bit more variety um I'll have to see what I can come up with for that because the cooking mechanics and crafting mechanics in this game is a little bit buggy at the least. So we'll see if I can't fix that up. But I did add some extra wine. Um, <clears throat> it looks like it will be good for about having it around five. There's only four people, so it should work fine. So we'll see how that turns out and um, we'll play it out and hopefully... We'll get some rep points with them and see how it turns out with that. But we have a bard three, so I think it'll it'll do pretty good. I think so. Outside of that, um, what else have I worked on? The North now has a crossbow, so he's level twenty five. I think I don't remember the um, required level for a crossbow, but he was able to pick it up and use it. So. It only does um, 2.75 damage, but its range is 75, which is really good for the most part. Like, if we were to look at the um, longbows, we get 18 meters, and the short bows do 18 meters as well. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely a better weapon because we have that extra range, so... We'll see if that helps. Um, when we start unlocking better... Well, we have the uh, other bows unlocked, but we need to uh, craft them up first. Um, I'm going to be equipping everyone with... Um, well, as many people as possible with the um, crossbows. And then if there's advanced people that we can add out of the um, heavy crossbows, then we'll probably upgrade them as well. I'm not sure what the damage would be on those, though. So we'll have to um, wait until we have some crafted.
we're doing pretty good for the seed vault. We got down to the level that we needed to, and we're going to start filling in the area with some bricks. So we have an abundant of bricks, so I'm not too worried about spending some of them on a small seed vault thing. Um, I'm not sure what kinds of seeds we're going to be storing down here. I'm probably going to do a... Um, like we, we discussed last episode that I might build another seed vault over in this corner somewhere and just dig directly down. And that will kind of supply this half of the um, uh, seed vault or seeds and stuff like that. We will probably have um, some of the berries and stuff over in this area. So we'll have like, I don't know, carrots, maybe um, possibly the barley. Uh, we'll, we'll store barley over here as well and then we'll probably um, maybe maybe flax I'm not sure that will we'll have about three over here so I think that will be probably better and then what we can do is we can supply the other four over in this particular seed vault so we're going to need at least four spots for our about four spots for the um the crops down here which will um we got about three, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually give a little bit extra space as well. I'm probably going to um, double the amount of uh, storage, so that will give us a little bit extra overflow um, stockpile for seeds and stuff like that. Uh, for example, we'll have two shelves for um, each crop seed. I think that will do good. So we'll need, um, let's see here, four... Probably about eight, so it'll bring us to, let's see here, so we have four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, so this will be where we need to um, dig to, oh, that's on a different level, oh, ah, what am I doing, alright, let's try to fix that up. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna need both there. Just make sure that I have the other ones removed. All right, so that's where we're gonna need the uh, seed vault up to, which isn't too bad. And that will give us plenty of a space for our seeds on this side, I think. And it should be out of the way for any heat distribution as well. And the bricks will help with that too. Alright, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. Uh, we got most of our crops planted and our seed vault is going really well too. 
Uh, they're just finishing up this row, and then we have one more row after this, and then we have the uh, exterior wall for the very end. So it will be done by tomorrow for sure. And then we can remove those bricks and start moving in the seeds um, for the thing. We'll need to build some um, shelves for storing them. Set up the shelves for the conditions. We'll have some for seeds that aren't doing that well. One for seeds that are doing fine for hit points. And then that will be dedicated to one particular side. So it will be a little bit easier for management and stuff like that. But... Um, we'll probably have the bad seeds at the front here. Uh, this way, when they walk in, they'll probably use those first. And then at the back here, what we'll probably do is have the good seeds. So it'll kind of like, they'll come in, grab the, the worst ones, go out, and then it'll just kind of uh, cycle that way. I think that would probably work. Because I'm pretty sure they target the nearest workstation or shelf or storage or whatever. So it will probably work out that way. So we'll do that and we'll try to keep that going for our other crops as well. We also got some trees planted. So not a whole lot, but uh, some of them. I'm not sure what's going on with the other ones. They haven't really touched those yet, but we'll see. Uh, it's only... Um, D9, so summer's coming up. We need to get these two fields really done as soon as possible. But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video. And if you're new to my community, I have a Discord server. And if you want to pop on there and hang out with the rest of the community, that's always an option. Link is in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.